Welcome in, y'all. How you guys doing? If you guys decided to hit that subscribe, like, share. Thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And we're going to get straight into this reaction. We got, we've done a few of these reactions. Um, we're going to hear what people have been saying about this. Um, this, this unprecedented. Oh, I got so many descriptive words I can use, but because it's YouTube, I'll just beep, beep, bleep, bleep them out. Yeah, um, what this guy, Drizzy, BBL, whatever you want to call him, has decided to disgrace hip hop with lawsuits. Now, I've already given my my point of view of what I think on it. You guys can go check the links in the description, check out my playlist and stuff like that. But let's see what other people have to say. Like, we're here for it. Let's go. Drake's lawyers are just unserious people. You want to know how I know Drake's lawyers are just unserious people? Because all UMG has to do to get rid of this defamation case is play that one video. Y'all know which video? That concert. It was some blue lighting. <laughs> like, what, what's happening? <laughs> with a 17-year-old girl on the stage that he kissed, then, oh, yeah. That's not even funny. The, the incident ain't funny, but what he's saying is funny. That's all UMG got to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's go. Cool. I did not think the year could get worse for Drake, but he just <laughs> embarrassed himself yes. even more. This mm. man knows damn well we were bopping this track. Damn well the UGC was at an all time high. Like, before she continues, ain't nobody trying to convince me that Hotline Bling and Kiki, do you love? Genuinely, oh, hold up, oh, God, just play it, play it, let it just go. Genuinely produce them number of streams without bots, without payola, without UMG doing whatever they did to get Drake to be there. And him bringing out this lawsuit makes me wonder, how do you know that's what they do? I mean, you sound for certain. It sounds like you know something we don't that regularly happens in your favor. And now it's not working in your favor. You want to go and let the cat out the bag. Forgetting that nobody's benefited from what you were alleging more than you. Man, you stupid, bro. Man, this is an all-time, all-time different level of stupidity like <laughs> you know what drake decided he was like you know what not like us being nominated for five grammys is not embarrassing enough let me just dig a deeper hole mm -hmm. for myself my yeah. brother <laughs> there are literally 1.3 million videos on tiktok alone and we all know how song usage on tiktok directly correlates to the volume of streaming that that can cause Facts. so the song Facts. is a bop it is a jam. <laughs> it has awakened the inner hater in us all. Now, Aubrey, you know damn well that Kendrick dissed you, and then the whole world jumped on that A train. He was on mm. his live, and he literally has a bald spot that he's trending for. <laughs> like right now. He's I'm stressing right now. He's stressing. I can't imagine being dissed on such he's global stressing. proportions that you come out with a lawsuit, and immediately after that, you're trending for a bald spot. Like, it's been a stressful year yeah, for yeah, this he's stressing. <laughs> Drake filing a lawsuit against Universal right Music now. Group and Spotify because he believes that they falsely inflated the popularity of Not Like Us is the most unseasoned, Karen adjacent, yep. light skinned thing that we yep. have ever seen happen in hip hop. Yep. And see, this is what happens when we allow people to cosplay our culture mm -hmm. because it's very much giving recount the ballot. Is very much giving, can I speak to a manager? Mm -hmm. Is very much giving strongly worded letter. <laughs> and this is not new to hip hop. Hip hop beef has been going on since the birth of hip hop. Facts. And this is not what we do. No, it People ain't. take their L's yep. and they walk away. There's a winner and a loser. Man, preach, Involving man. the law is insane. Has to be a cardinal sin in the black Bible. <laughs> and what's crazy is when he had black, that rap beef with yo, me, yo, 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 not a cardinal sin in the black Bible. Brother, your ghetto pass has been revoked. You ain't invited to no more motherfucking barbecues. You know what I'm saying? Being real talking, bro. Like, bro, Kendrick said you shouldn't be allowed to say nigger again. And then you come back double down. Real talk, you shouldn't be allowed to say it again, bro. Like, 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 we're taking it back. 
Like you just ain't no, 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 my G, my G. And then I then I see like, you know, you could you be hanging around with a lot of Caribbeans and you know what I'm saying, and you feeling oh, fam, I we don't want you down there. Yeah, stay out of Caribbean, bro. We don't even want you down there, bro. Right now you culture vulture and everywhere. Just stay everywhere. Stay where you is, whether it's in Texas. I don't want I ain't got no beef for Canada, so I ain't having no I like Canada. I love Canada. She <laughs> You is just the, no, no. <laughs> a lawsuit in sight. Not a word. Took the W and kept it moving. Tell me it's not Karen behavior to now turn around and be in another rap beef and want to file a lawsuit because you lost. Facts. You lost. Lost, bro. And what he fails to realize is that Not Like Us was bigger than just a diss song. Yeah, facts. It was for the culture. It was for the culture. And that's what K-Dot meant when he said... Let me break it down for you. This is the real ninja challenge. Mm -hmm. And you didn't fit the bill. So mm -hmm. now you're filing a lawsuit. Scram. Scram. This is lame. I'm really trying to figure Facts. out what Drake is trying to accomplish by taking legal action over rap beef. I have two potential theories that one, Drake is trying to sue Universal Music so that he can get access to emails and evidence that shows that they do engage in shady practices. Like and so that know. he could say, the only reason why your song did well is because you needed the backing of a big company to do all of these things and pull all of these strings. My second theory is, is he's trying to mess with the marketing strategy for Kendrick's surprise album mm -hmm. and mess with his first week streams by shifting the conversation back to him. And he did that by filing a petition just a few days after Kendrick dropped his album. And so instead of talking about the album, Salty. instead of talking about uh, Kendrick, we are now talking once again about Drake. And he's trying to distract people from streaming his music, talking about Kendrick's album. Once again, the conversation, the topic of conversation is Drake. Drake. It just seems like a very strange move. Especially you know, some she has a point as well too. Also, I heard that um, his contract might be up for renewal. So in doing this, um he's trying to say umg did this so that when he comes in to renew his contract he's not worth as much as before so they don't have to pay him as much money he breaks him down but well, this is what he's stating but she has a point right after kendrick dropped his album you want to come do your bullshit but nobody gives a fuck nobody hears nobody wants to know what are you doing let kendrick shine bro well you thought he was just shining for one song you love to shine for all albums, whole years in advance, 15 years, bro. Man, come out, let him shine. But trust you not to want to see another brother shine at all. Yeah, everything must be greedy, hogged, and it's all yours, yeah? Man, get out of here, bro. Since at the core of the issue that people had with him is about authenticity, and they've already called him out about moving funny. But I honestly, I don't have the answer. So what do you guys think he is trying to accomplish here? And I don't think he's trying to give it to the man because no, the timing of all of this is very wrong. peculiar. Yep, so Drake is suing UMG because he thinks the streams on Not Like Us are botted. They're all fake. None of that is real. Here's the thing, Drake. People were dancing to that song in India, in Asia. They were dancing <laughs> everywhere. No amount of botted streams can make someone enjoy a song. Facts. I truly believe people just Facts. like the song, Drake. I don't think he can fathom that. I think it really got to him and he's like, there's no way people like it this much. There's no way. I hate to break it to you, Drake. The song is catchy. I don't that? know what to tell you. <laughs> also, this is just not culturally sound, bro. You're suing him. What happened to a cease and desist for hoes? You said that, Drake, and now you're suing? Bro, I know Kendrick is somewhere cackling like a madman. He's about to go number one, and now this dude is crashing out over a song from Facts. seven months ago. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. I have no dog in this fight. I like Kendrick's music. I like Drake's music. I also think both of them have used bots via you. I don't hear nothing, Rory and Mal say. I, I sometimes Rory him this guy he could talk some sense. You know what I'm saying? But I don't. I don't. He. I, all credibility that these two motherfuckers had has gone out the window. Especially over this whole thing, I've seen why Joe Budden got rid of them. I can see why. Especially Mal. Him and DJ Academics have been the biggest drizzy glazers I've ever seen in the history of glazing, glazing, glaze. Not even glazed windows, double ass, triple glazed windows got more glaze than these. Listen to me, yeah? Yo, let's roll. MG, whether they knew it or not. What stood out to me in that paperwork was the accusation that umg lowered their licensing rate by 30 percent for not like us just a quick quick history lesson how we even got to the value of what a stream is was based off spotify and the three majors negotiating on what that value would be 
What makes it even crazier is all three majors have actual stock and ownership within Spotify. Yeah, but still, like, I understand, I hear what you're saying, but at the time, like, this ain't the time to be doing it. Why are you bringing it out, like, a couple of days after he drops his album? You could have done that right after, not like us. You could have done that a week ago, too. Why right after his album? Yeah, everything is strategic for Drake. He just needs to be the center of fucking attention, whether it's good or bad. You know what I'm saying? The center of attention. If not, he's in the corner crying like a little... <laughs> that would be illegal in any other business in the world, but it's a music industry, so anything can fly. I'll, to the point that I worked at a major when Spotify went public, and they emailed all of us as employees and said, you cannot buy stock because that would be insider trading. Now imagine you're an artist. And you uh, should have, I don't hear that read that he's though. suing his music label, Universal Music Group, as well as Spotify, because he's under the impression that they are giving Kendrick false streaming numbers for Not Like Us. When Drake was the one begging mm. Kendrick to drop a song. He was begging, begging Kendrick to drop a diss Facts. on him in two different songs. And then Kendrick does it. And now you want to call enforcement and law enforcement into this? For real? Bruh. For real? He literally said cease and desist. For real? We're for hoes. Cease and desist. You're sending cease and desist to YouTubers. Don't think we didn't forget about that in the beginning. YouTubers. Man, I've never seen such, such bitch assness in my whole life. Like, like. Shh. You lost, and now you're calling in assistance instead of just dropping another diss track as you just should have did in the first place. Like, oh, I love Drake's music, but this behavior is just so dumb. Like, you just really need to take the L, mm. admit that you lost. And call it a day. Don't make yourself look goofy. Please, make like, please stop. I want to know who goofy. on Drake's team thought that this would be a good idea to sue Universal Music Group and Spotify, accusing them of artificially inflating Not Like Us. Because it just makes him look like a whiny little kid pointing yep. the finger saying like, they did it. Yep. You see? Listen, yep. I am no yep. rep stan, but the Drake and Kendrick Lamar beef was obviously so huge this year. Mm. Like Drake, I love and respect Kendrick Lamar and definitely took his side during all this beef. This is not <laughs> looking good in the optics of winning anything, let alone winning a rap beef. Because we all know that when Not Like Us dropped, it was mm -hmm. over. And just to be over. clear, a lawsuit hasn't officially been filed. Just sort of like a pre-lawsuit thing mm -hmm. that was filed on Monday. It just looks so bad. And it's only going to give Kendrick even more ammo. I, know, yep. I personally think that Drake should have continued to lay low for the rest of the year. Yep. He's just being so petty, Facts. especially with the announcement of his tour in Australia. Yeah, bro, whoever your, whoever your PR manager is, yeah, you need to fire them. Fire them, because they're giving you some bad advice. Unless you just got nothing but yes men around you who are afraid to tell you the truth. Yeah, you should shut the fuck up. Just stay quiet. Come back out next year. But then maybe not next year. Because 2025, I think, is going to be boogeyman year as well, too. Of being on the same day <laughs> Super Bowl. as Super Bowl performance? It's just oh, giving whiny baby to me. We all know Drake has been whiny for years. But this is embarrassing. It what is. do you guys think of this news that Drake is getting ready to sue Universal Music Group and Spotify over Kendrick's Not Like Us? You know in the comments. Y'all, what if the reason why Drake filed this lawsuit, this defamation lawsuit, is not for him to actually win, but for him to force UMG to take Not Like Us off of wherever all the DSPs? Because, hear me out, right? In order for UMG to win the lawsuit against Drake of uh, defamation, they would have to present evidence that Not Like Us, like the what he was saying, Not Like Us, is actually true. But... UMG doesn't want to do that because if they do do that, they're possibly going to lose out on money. They're going to lose out on money. So mm. it's basically like forcing them to sit there and come up with a resolution so that he stops looking bad in the public eye and get not like us taken down. It's like forcing the parent to choose a side between their kids mm. and they know that losing out on Drake ain't going nowhere. Money... That song can get taken down. Everybody has it. It's gonna be streamed, it's gonna be um bootleg. <laughs> it's too late. It's out there. It is out there. You cannot stop that song from playing. Give up. It and the... Y'all remember Dead Prez? 
Remember when they banned that press CD? They made it illegal. You know what I'm saying? Went, they weren't allowed to have the CD on any shelves, etc. You know what I'm saying? Do you know why Dead Press did so well? Because that was free marketing. It was free marketing. Everybody was, what? We can't buy this CD? Government's taking it off the shelf? I want that shit. <laughs> More people went out of their way to get that album. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? Was it Lime Wire? Um, what was the other one? Lime Wire, there was another one before that with the Fox. I forgot. Y'all hit me in the comments if you remember. You know, back in the days when you download maybe one, two songs, get 50 viruses to go with it. <laughs> and his royalties from all his work is going to be more important to them than losing out on Kendrick, even though mm. Kendrick is hot right now. Did you hear? Drake just filed a lawsuit over Not Like Us. Oh, he's suing for defamation, right? Suing for defamation, right? <laughs> he's suing for defamation, right? <laughs> He's suing for defamation, right? Drake hasn't exactly been pulling off chess moves in the wake of the Kendrick beef. After transitioning from Oh, pussy. And changes everything. Look at that. This is another one. I ain't gonna cover that right now. But yeah. Y'all let me know what y'all think. I think it's a pussy move. I think it's an all time low in hip hop. When it comes to beef. Like, I don't. I, this L can never be taken back. I don't think he could come back from this. I don't want to hear about him after this. It's all right when he's winning, you know what I'm saying? And now he's losing, you know what I'm saying? Man's crying like a little baby. So I've had enough. But yeah, guys, thank you for tuning in. Check out link in the description to all my other reactions relating to all of this and more. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Hit me down in the comments if you want me to react to any other things that's happening around the place. Let me know. Um, that's how I know what is happening. If you read the comments. So let me know what's happening, man. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Stay safe. Be blessed. Take care.